Yes lads, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today I'm going to bring you guys the Leicester City versus Liverpool match review. So guys, I had just finished at the King Power Stadium, Leicester City nil, Liverpool 4, a very disappointing result for Leicester City, a poor performance at the King Power Stadium, but today I'm going to go through my general thoughts on the game and at the end of today's match review I'll go through my pro rating from the sub to today at the King Power Stadium. But before we get into it, make sure a big thumbs up down below on today's video if you want to enjoy this Leicester vs Liverpool match review. Subscribe if you haven't seen my face on your screen before, we're on the road to 1000 subscribers, if you guys can hit that subscribe button it will be massively appreciated. And while you're down there, make sure my channel post notifications so if there's any future videos on the channel just like this one, follow my social medias, they'll be down there. I think all of them will be in the description down below. Let me know your thoughts on today's game, a disappointing result at the King Power between Leicester and Liverpool. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So I had just finished at the King Power Stadium, Leicester City nil, Liverpool 4. A very disappointing result for Leicester against a very good Liverpool side in today's game at the King Power Stadium. And Liverpool extended the title race by another 3 points. They're into the 50 point mark with 53 points compared to Leicester's 39. It's going to be very difficult for either Leicester or Manchester City to catch Liverpool now. And it's, gonna, it's, it's a massive 3 points for Liverpool as they extend their title lead. But getting on to the game itself, it was a very poor performance by Leicester at the King Power Stadium. So they obviously coming off that 3-1 loss to Manchester City last night at the Etihad. We needed to bounce back and to be honest, losing 4-0 was a really bad way to bounce back to be honest and we've gone even further down and it's just going to be an uphill task to bounce back for these two defeats to be honest against two very good sides in Manchester City and Liverpool and in particular Liverpool and they tore to shreds at yeah, the King Power in both halves and to be perfectly honest they were well deserved winners in today's game. But talking about Leicester in particular, it was a very poor start by Leicester. Obviously, the atmosphere was good in the first five or so minutes after the light show. What Brendan Rodgers hoped for, good atmosphere, we gave that, and the players really couldn't bounce off that. And Liverpool had a couple of big opportunities early on in the game. Obviously, through our mistakes as well, in particular, with the distribution from Casper's very poor today, that gave Liverpool a couple of big chances early on. And overall, it was just an ugly task for the first whistle, and we really struggled to get a grip on the game for us. The most disappointing thing for me in today's game was the lack of effort which Leicester showed. We really looked like we couldn't be bothered to get hold of the ball, really attack Liverpool and to be honest we soaked up a lot of pressure and as soon as we got the ball we gave it straight back to Liverpool which really put a lot of pressure on Leicester especially in the second half and overall we just looked like we really couldn't be bothered to play the game to be honest. I know it's a box name but still we should be known for more of a fight like Liverpool were. Obviously Liverpool win the Club World Cup, they came to the King Power wanted all three points and they really showed that. So fair, fair play to Liverpool but Leicester did make it fairly easy for Liverpool to get all three points today. So Brenda made one change from the side which started in that defeat to Manchester City at the Etihad. Dennis Pratt coming in for Eliozzi Perez. Obviously, Brennan starts James Madison out wide, which was a stupid decision, to be perfectly honest. Obviously, Madison isn't suited to that wide. He's not the best at tracking back, helping out the fullback, and that really showed in the first half, especially with Trent Alexander Arnold. Given a lot of room on Chilwell's side, and that really contributed to a lot of Liverpool's goals in both halves in particular. I think if Brennan started Madison in the in the number 10 role behind Vardy, it would have suited him better, and we could have done better. I thought we should have gone with the same team which started against Man City, even though we played poor against that. I thought that would have suited us much better with Madison in that cam role and he could really kind of control the game and maybe give a few chances to Vardy but that really didn't happen with Madison that wide and it, and it was a very poor performance from James Madison in the end. So the first goal came just after the 30th minute mark with Roberto Firmino opening the score for Liverpool with a good header to be honest into the bomb corner, no chance of Schmeichel really but it came on Ben Chill's side once again and to be honest I've got to put the blame on Ben Chill for this goal, he should have stepped up like the two centre-backs did, stayed in line and they would have been offside but Chill went with the runners Nearly got the ball, but obviously Roberto Firmino was there. Salah was queuing up at the far post as well, and Liverpool probably would have scored, even if Chilwell got a little bit of a flick on it. Although, Chilwell, I don't know what's going on with him at the moment. Obviously, he had a poor game against Manchester City last time out, and then he had another poor game today against Liverpool. And does Christian Fuchs start against West Ham? Let me know in the comment section down below. But getting into the second half, we started off very poorly once again. Liverpool had a couple of big chances here and there. Good save by Casper Schmeichel hitting the bar. I don't know how that didn't go in, to be perfectly honest. But Leicester kind of grew into the game and we had a couple of chances. Jamie Vardy won a foul. I know it sounds stupid, but that's probably the best chance we got in the whole game, to be perfectly honest. But we started to knock on the door a little bit more. The crowd got behind the players, but then... Trent Alexander Arnold with a cross in it hit Kagula Sunji's hand and the referee gives a penalty. To be honest, it probably was a penalty in this day and age, and it was stupid to be honest. Obviously, with Soon Chu, it just hits his hand, he couldn't really do too much with it. So, but yeah, Liverpool got the penalty and James Miller converted to give it 2 0 to Liverpool, and that really put the game outside for Leicester. And another two goals in four minutes wrapped up the game for Liverpool. Roberto Firmino getting another, and Trent Alexander Arnold scoring to make it 4 0 to Liverpool. That really put the game beyond doubt for Leicester, and probably it was deserved. Liverpool were very good tonight at the King Power Stadium. Obviously, I'm probably saying how bad Leicester played, but fair play to Liverpool. They were brilliant tonight at the King Power Stadium. They could have won by more, so fair play to 
to them, but overall, it was a very poor performance by Leicester. So now going on to my player ratings, this is where I rate each player's performance out of 10 from the side which started today against Liverpool. To start off in goal with Kasper Schmeichel, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. I thought it made some big crucial saves here and there, but overall, obviously, 4 past him, you can't really give him any more than a 6 in my opinion. His distribution was dodgy as well at some points as well, but Kasper made a couple of big saves to keep Leicester in it, in particular, in the second half for Liverpool made it too. That was a brilliant save by him, so overall, Kasper could improve, but it wasn't the worst of performances from Kasper Schmeichel, and he, he doesn't need to take the bay for this defeat. But now moving straight into the back four, to start off at right back with Ricardo Pereira, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. I thought Ricardo had a decent game today at the King of Power Stadium, probably one of the best players on the pitch today with a Leicester perspective. I thought he showed a real effort in desire to try and get Leicester on the ball, trying to make something happen, and to be honest with the teammates around him that really wasn't possible. But I thought defensively Ricardo was fairly strong, going forward he offers a couple of good moments here and there, especially in the second half before Liverpool made it 2-0 when Leicester played a little bit better. Ricardo was at the heart of that, so 7 out of 10 for Ricardo, fair play to him for his effort today. The two centre backs started off at the right one with Kagana Sungju. I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. It wasn't the best of performances from Kagana Sungju today, but to be honest, he couldn't really do too much with some, with some of the Liverpool goals today. So I thought he had a solid game, offered a few threats going forward as well towards the end when he went forward and a bit of a Harry Maguire one. So yeah, fair play for Sungju for having a good go, but to be honest, he couldn't really do too much about the Liverpool goals. And we were really outclassed by Liverpool today, so 6 out of 10 for Sungju. Moving to the other centre back with Johnny Evans, I'm going to give him a six out of ten as well. Thought it wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst of Johnny Evans's game so in, a, in his Leicester career. So six out of ten, nothing really to say about Johnny Evans. Did what he needed to do, couldn't really do too much about Liverpool goals. Did do anything outstanding, but didn't do anything particularly wrong. Made a couple of silly mistakes here and there, but nothing too costly. So yeah, six out of ten for Johnny Evans. And now moving into left back with Ben Chilwell. It's probably going to sound harsh, but. I'm going to give him a 4 out of 10. I thought Ben, ben Shiel was absolutely shocking today, to be honest. Shiel has been good glimpses so far this season, had a couple of really good games, but today really just didn't cut it in Chile at left back. I know he's young, but with the Manchester City game and now this, I thought he maybe would have learned against Manchester City, but position wise, he really didn't cut it today, in my opinion. Obviously, a lot of goals did come from his side. I don't want to put the blame too much on Ben Chiel, but I thought Ben Chiel had a really poor game, so I'm going to give him a 4 out of 10. But now moving straight into midfield, so starting off with Wilfred and Diddy. I'm going to give Wilf a 6 out of 10 for today's game. I thought it was a pretty poor performance by Wilfred and Diddy, but he couldn't really do too much. Obviously, Liverpool's front through the likes of Mane, Seller and Firmino. It's very hard to stop them. I'm in the midfield with Wijnaldum and the likes of Jordan Henderson and Naby Keita. It's very hard to stop them. The football had a decent game, made a couple of sloppy mistakes here and there, but he got put in some dangerous moments with his trying to pass that run from the back, which caused Leicester a lot of problems. So yeah, 6 out of 10 for Wolf, not the best but not the worst of performances from a Nigerian international. Moving alongside him with Yuri Tillemans, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. I thought the Belgium had a very poor game today at the King of Power Stadium. Really couldn't get hold of the ball. He's been poor for a lot of the season, to be perfectly honest. Obviously, he came in last season. We were very excited. On loan, obviously, he was very good, but he really hasn't cut it so far this season. It's going to be interesting to see how Yuri can progress. Maybe he'll get better over time, but yeah. Poor performance from Wilf this half, so 5 out of 10. Give a midfielder with Dennis Pratt. I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. I thought he showed a lot of effort in today's game. At points, he was the highest man pressing, even over Jamie Vardy. So, fair play for Dennis Pratt. He got hold of the ball a couple of times, but he couldn't really put anything together. So, 6 out of 10 for Dennis Pratt, but the effort was there, which is the most important thing from Dennis Pratt. If you had all Dennis Pratt's playing, we probably could have done a little bit better. So, yeah, fair play for Dennis Pratt for having a good performance today at the King Power. Now with James Madison, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. I know he was playing out wide, not in his natural position, but he tried to come into that number 10 role. When he was there, he really couldn't do anything. It was probably a big off day for the English international. Obviously, in that left mid, left mid position, he really didn't help Ben Chirwell as he had to mark Alexander Arnold, who obviously had a cracking game on that right-hand side. But yeah, it's very difficult to mark him, but I thought Madison had a poor game, so 5 out of 10 for him. And the other winger with Harvey Barnes, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. I thought Harvey Barnes had a very poor game once again today. Just really, really didn't cut it. Obviously, Robertson on the side, it's very difficult to beat him for pace, but Barnes really didn't show anything. No passion, really. Didn't really get back too much to help Ricardo. And overall, it's just a shocking game for Leicester today. So, Harvey Barnes, 5 out of 10 for him. And I'll finally up front with Jamie Vardy. He really didn't have much to do, so I guess 6 out of 10 for Jamie Vardy. Could have done a little bit more pressing rise, but I can't really give him any high. He literally had nothing to do. He had a couple of chances to run at the Liverpool defence. He literally got no service. I'd be surprised if he got more than 10 touches in today's game. So yeah, 6 out of 10 for Jamie Vardy up front.
But that's it for the Leicester versus Liverpool match review. So if you like, if you did enjoy today's video, guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Obviously, it's a disappointing result today, but we move on to West Ham on Saturday at the London Stadium, guys. Make sure you let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section down below. Bye, Miss Walsh, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace. Out.